Hey everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Thank you so much for joining me in the vape layer for some more vapey videos. I want to give a very warm welcome to my new subscribers. I do hope you find what you're looking for. Uh, got a DNA 20 mod to talk to you about today. Decided to name their DNA mod the DNA, which is kind of... Uh, that bores me. <laughs> and I hate to sound like this fucking elitist type of guy, but DNA is kind of a boring name. They have a name of their store is Vapor Shark. You know what I mean? They could have named this the Mako or like the Sand Shark or like gave it some sort of related name to Shark rather than just DNA. But it gets, the, it gets the point across. It's a DNA 20 powered mod. Probably one of the smallest, probably the smallest DNA 20 mod uh, in existence in the vape world. To kind of get a better idea size-wise of it, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a quick up and closey bit. All right, gonna spend some really quick up and closey time with the Vapor Shark DNA DNA 20 mod. This thing is. How tiny. It's smaller than my ohm reader by a lot. By a lot. I mean by a lot. This is a tiny, tiny little DNA 20 mod and uh, charges via mini USB here and it actually has a light on it so when you're charging it this light will light up because as anybody with a DNA 20 knows when you're charging it there's no uh, it doesn't show you <laughs> that it's charging but right now I have a full charge and for some reason it's set to 14 watts I don't remember the last thing I was using on it but yeah so the top you're gonna notice that uh, you see all this paint that's coming off of here let me see if I can go in for an even uppier closier uh, thing pardon me pardon my focusing yep just like that you see how constant screwing and unscrewing of atomizers tanks and uh, or buildables have left this uh, have left this quite uh, the paint is is coming off there around in a circular motion and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's after about a month of use of screwing and unscrewing and because you have to screw things down so far so tight on here it's uh, it started to take that paint off which isn't you know it, it's covered up when you're using it but it just kind of maybe speaks to the durability just a little bit that the paint that the finish that the you know the finish on here might not be super wicked durable because it's uh it's it's taken off the uh it's taken off the paint on there on the top so it's kind of hard to get an idea of where the top is where the bottom is so this is how it stands this is the top this is where your atomizer will go i'm going to plug on an amp tank right now just like that uh, and uh, that's how it looks with a tank most tanks are wider than the DNA uh, mod this amp tank is wider when I put the K fun on here the K fun is definitely definitely there's juice definitely definitely wider than it um, below your fire button which activates blue when you hit it are your up and down buttons and I always feel like they should be reversed because when I'm looking at the mod like this and I'm adjusting my wattage this one is actually the up the lower one is up and the top one is down I feel like those should be backwards um, maybe I should flip the display around so that they are correct but this is just how it comes stock when it comes stock the lower one adjusts it up and the upper one up here adjusts it down which is awkward to me to this day I still misadjust it all the time and every time I do I think to myself I really need to flip that display around so that maybe these would be correct um, but regardless stock out of the box the upper you know the adjustment up is down the adjustment up is lower and the adjustment down is the higher one just like that um, on this side is the charging port on the other side are the up and down buttons and the uh, and the fire button just like that um, so let's oh, no. see I just did it I just started adjusting it up when I mean to adjust it down so we're gonna adjust this down to uh, like uh, I don't know 11 point 10.5 watts would be fine for this uh, 1.8 ohm 
atomizer that's going to give me 4.6 volts. Um, now the pictures on the website kind of make this look a lot nicer than it really is because they're like uh, you know computer generated images and not that it's not nice but when you get it you can kind of see that there's like a seam right here and on the top and bottom you can see you can see this seam like uh, like right here where the paint has kind of come off a little bit and it doesn't quite sit flush with the rest of it for the price it's an amazing amazing mod but there's some inconsistencies in, in where the body fits together the buttons are nice and clicky um, you can send it back to get a battery replacement if you need to they charge like uh, let me look on the site 25 bucks for a battery replacement but as it stands it comes with a pretty good battery on the inside it's over a thousand ma it's 1200 ma battery variable wattage this is a small small mod I'm impressed by this every single time that I use it I can get easily a full day of, uh, of use from it and uh, it's tiny I mean it's the smallest form factor with the most power that I've uh, experienced and uh, seeing as the DNA 30 just came out I would love to see a maybe slightly bigger vapor shark with a DNA 30 on the inside um, you can kinda see I'm not gonna be able to get too close on this but there sometimes gets to be some uh, come on oh <laughs> it kinda gets to be some dust behind the uh, behind the screen so there's like uh, plastic over the the DNA screen and you can kinda see there gets to be some dust and and particulates and stuff back there again it's not uh, it's not a deal breaker but it is something that happens it's a hundred and seventy dollar mod so you know you kind of get what you pay for the fit and finish might not be perfect but the performance and the battery life are amazing the form factor is amazing so that's just uh, we'll talk about more of that later so that's up closely with the DNA 20 from vapor shark uh, let's get back out to some normal view here so yeah, that's the uh, that's the DNA up and close and personal, and it's not flawless. There's some imperfections in it. There's some imperfections in the way it fits together. There's some imperfections. Come on, Nick, get your get your stuff together. There's some imperfections. I said it again. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Imperfections in the way it's kind of put together. It's not flawless, okay? But it's for the money it's a powerhouse of power and it's really really small but still remains a 1200 milliamp hour or ma battery life I get easily a full day off of it sometimes a little bit longer I just love the size of it and I love the clicky button it's clicky and it lights up and uh, I think that's phenomenal and I just locked it one two three four five and now it's unlocked um, the paint does come off of the top from constant screwing and unscrewing in of atomizers and it looks it, it starts looking a little bit ugly in there in fact I just noticed when I put this amp tank on it that even when I screwed it down all the way it still wobbles the base still wobbles on there just a little bit let me try something else let me put the K fun on there and see if it still if it still wobbles the K fun kind of looks uh this is a K fun light kind of looks a little bit ridiculous on there okay so that doesn't wobble maybe it's cuz it's so wide i don't know but that's the K fun light on the vapor shark dna i think this is a 0.9 so i'm going to have to turn up the wattage quite a bit let's go to like 13 let's go to 14 watts perfect um, so yeah this is the k-fun light on there it's it's smaller than the k-fun light is I mean both in width and height with the drip tip the vapor it's so tiny that's all I can get out of this it amazes me on a daily basis how small this is yet I can get so much power out of it this is a 0.9 ohm coil uh, 3.7 volts, 14 watts. I love this little mod. I love this little mod. Apart from its imperfections, apart from the fact that the paint or anodizing peels off, kind of rubs off on the top, apart from the fact that uh, the up and down buttons are on the wrong 
place. Like I said, maybe I need to flip that display around so that they'll be correct. But uh, out of the box, stock, they're they're backward. You push the tall, you push the higher one to go down, and you push the lower one to go up, which doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. It is what it is, and it's 170 bucks. It's a tiny, tiny little insane powerhouse of power. It might have some slight imperfections in it in fit and finish, but performance-wise, you're not really gonna get uh, you're not really gonna get any smaller, and you're not really gonna get any more power until they make a v DNA 30 Vapor Shark DNA mod. Um, I would suggest a Vapor Shark changing the name of this from the DNA to something that sounds. Uh, cooler, I guess. But uh, but yeah, 